I'm Buck Gwen. I've been coming to Summit View since the Fort Collins High days, about 20 years ago. Uh, been involved with band setup for quite a few years. I've had a blessing getting to know many of the uh, Generation Z members in our church and having the opportunity on the Friday night worship before COVID shut us down and did all that, uh, to enjoy that worship time and to uh, be part of that worship, experiencing the, uh, the strength of the worship and song, the prayer times, the fellowship, the word. That has been a huge part in uh, growing my life and drawing me closer to the Lord. For years, I've had a, uh, a dog who's been a big part of my life, Tyson, 100 pound Doberman, who uh, grew to be 15 years old. Uh, five years ago in the park in Cheyenne, we encountered a guy who had a gun and very likely was going to end badly. Uh, God used Tyson that day to save my life. And I wouldn't be here but for what God did through, through Tyson. Shortly after that, Tyson went down and could not walk. And I made the commitment to the Lord that I would be his legs. And for four years, I was Tyson's legs. This past June, uh, Tyson got to the point in, in his aged life that it was obvious he was not going to make it anymore. He was down to just a few days of life. And I was down at the vet clinic in Longmont with him uh, when there was no longer anything they could do to save him. I was in prayer with a number of brothers and sisters that day by text messaging and phone calls and was so deeply grateful to God for the brothers and sisters who were with me in prayer, interceding and praying on my behalf. After Tyson died, I was in the parking lot and I uh, spent some time praising God for his presence, for his love, for his mercy and grace, and for all the years that uh, I had with my father, you know, dudes and dogs, and we were tight. And God blessed me so much there. The Lord prompted me to reach out to one of the brothers who had been in prayer with me by text messages through the day, uh, Sam Harrington. And I reached out to Sam and, and wondered if he could spend a few minutes in prayer with me as I came back through Fort Collins on the way home. Uh, Sam immediately texted back and said, yes, come over. When I got to Fort Collins, we spent not a few minutes in prayer, but we spent hours. And the Lord ministered to my heart through him uh, as he shared God's word, as we spent time in prayer, as God gave him words of encouragement to give me and words to lift my spirits and to, to heal my heart. It's one of the deepest times I've had in prayer in, in my life. Since COVID intervened, uh, I've still had an opportunity to worship with some of our Gen Z members. And I've seen the passion of their hearts, the desire of their hearts. I've watched as God's spirit has moved through them and they've had times of deep prayer a passionate worship, uh, deep into the Word, seeking holiness, seeking deeper uh, relationship with the Lord. That's pricked my conscience and that's affected my heart because I look at my heart and I realize I've been on autopilot for far too long. I haven't had that passion and I want it. I've had glimpses through all of this of what's to come as will be in perfect communion with the Lord and perfect communion with each other. I want that and I hunger for that in my life and I'm seeking that. What I've seen in, uh, in Generation Z is the passion to follow Christ no matter what and do it in now time, not sometime. And I've thought about the different revivals over the years, the Great Awakening that started with young men and women coming to Christ passionately. The haystack Revival was five college guys kneeling in prayer in the hayfield. Uh, the Lanfear prayer revival was young men and women skipping lunch so they could have time to pray and to seek God. And I very well remember the Brownwood revival in Texas in 1995 that swept the nation. That started with two college guys convicted of sin, bowing before the Lord, confessing sin and getting their hearts right. And that led to a revival that swept through thousands of churches and hundreds of college campuses and led thousands of people to Christ. 
I see in Generation Z a passion for Christ and the Holy Spirit moving. And I see the fruits of the Spirit. And it creates this hunger that I want to be in my heart where they are in worship. And I feel the encouragement from them, the uh, uh, discipleship comes from them to, to my heart. And I want that in my life far more than anything else. Uh, I don't want to be a casual Christian anymore. I want to get off the sidelines and I want to be all in for Christ. Uh, David talked about that in Psalm 24, about raising up a generation that would seek God and that would have uh, pure hearts and clean hands. And I'm seeing God move in Generation Z in our church. And I want that in my life. And I'm ready to run and chase after them as they follow after the Lord. Uh, to say in Wyoming, it's time to settle up and giddy up and go. And I'm ready to get going for Christ. Thank you.